Plastic Model Builders, welcome back. It is time for some model making madness. I am your host, Ari Stone. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like to my channel because I love you. Time to make some stuff look pretty. This is the Ravel Spitfire MK2 Part 1. We are putting together the cockpit. Fun stuff. This is where it all happens. We've got our instrument panel, we've got our little foot thingies for the rudders. You see how these goes together? I probably should have put that little pedal on second. It took me a while to get it on. You're seeing the fast version of that. We've got our control stick, little handle with the circle deal on there. I decided to try stuff different. I put everything together this time. See how easily I could do it. And we're going to do some other different stuff from this model. So make sure you watch the whole video so you see all the fun stuff that I do because it's a little bit different than things I've previously done. Because you know, as we get older and experienced with modelers we try to do different things and make them look pretty now keep in mind when I do these things you don't have to do them you can just build it as simple as possible I was going for a more older in-flight look so I am doing a black undercoat it's acting as a primer that's how I'm using it Yes, I know. Other people do other kinds of things. Make sure you clean your parts off too. Make sure they don't have any oils and stuff. That way the paint sticks really good. So this is black. I believe I'm using some Tamiya. Yes, it's pronounced Tamiya. If you call them and ask them, that's what they will tell you. Uh, this is probably XF1. So we're going with my Badger Patriot airbrush. In case you're wondering what I'm using, really low air pressure. Just light coats and we give two coats of them. Just go all the way around this thing. And we're going to show you what we do. So here we go. It's kind of like pre-shading, but kind of not, because you're going to give a light top coat, and that black kind of shines through. Looks kind of like dirt. And then we also are going to weather this. Yes, weather the inside of this aircraft right away. So we've got our wheels. You saw that was just the cockpit area that we were doing there. Here are the wheels. It's going to paint those all black. Make those look pretty too. By the way, thanks for watching. Um, if I haven't mentioned it, I always do a premiere with my videos and 99% of the time I can be there to chat with you. Sometimes I can't because life takes over, but join me in that chat and we have a good time. You know, simple 10 minute videos. You don't have to sit there and take too much time to watch a video. And then you can move on to some of your other favorite builders. That's what I do. So this is a propeller. Painting the propeller black, of course, because propellers usually go back black we've got our exhausts here another base coat of black and we're going to spiffy those up later on and that's our little mirror right there the front and back of that so here i take this color right here it's a pale green and a dark sea blue those are uh you see model master paints can't get those anymore we're doing a light coat it's a couple light coats just kind of fill it in you see how it slowly pops out and that black kind of comes through and you can kind of it just gives it an older look to it and that's a little heavier coat there that I spray on the first time but you can still see how it comes through it looks really great and then we will also weather this and same thing with the instrument panel I'm just painting the whole thing green and by the way remember when you attach these parts clean off the area of paint where you want to attach that way you get a good bond you want plastic meeting plastic not paint meeting paint because it's not a good bond. I don't remember if I did that or not, but if I didn't do it that way, make sure you do. Do it the right way. Take time. I've just seen some videos recently where one of our modelers built a very nice model and he had trouble getting everything to work because he didn't scrape the paint off. So make sure you do that. I'm using this little brush. I was just trying something different. It's okay to try something different. And I didn't like it, so I switched to this brush instead. Just painting all the little instruments and dials here, keeping it kind of simple. I think my brush has a little bit of uh, some glue on there, so it's sticking together fairly well. It enables me to get little pinpoint areas. I like it. All right, so this is the instrument panel. You see lots of little different things going on there, and I really like the color of how it turned out, the way I mixed it. I don't know if it's entirely accurate, but I'm sure the modeling Spitfire community won't have a problem with it. So here we've got some more dials. This is inside of the fuselage part of the cockpit. Paint those and you can see how it pops with the black background because you can see the grooves that I didn't quite get into. It just makes it look like it's dirty. It's kind of natural weathering without having to do a wash. But we do also do a wash 
because that'll get the rest of the paint and it looks absolutely wonderful so if you do watch the whole thing like i said you will see that so we've got our seat here it's got a uh, tan leather back so i my paint's kind of thick and i lay it on thick and then you just kind of dab it and it will kind of give the seat a textured color you know, and I shouldn't say a textured color, a textured look, because that's what it is. And it, it really stands out. I like how it turns out in the end, and I think you will too. And you'll see some close-ups that we do of this, and I know you'll be happy. Oh, by the way, thank you for watching the whole video with me. All right, so there, the seat chair is done. Painting a little bit of stuff here on the control stick. I guess you could call it a stick. It's not really a stick, but just doing some stuff a little bit of black goes on here and you can see how good that instrument panel looks i liked it and we also do some more fun things we make seat belts and this is them right here you see i have strips of tape cutting them out it's not the prettiest in the world but i manage so i paint them a gray color not all of it i don't show you all of this because camera wasn't on accidentally so I'm comparing the seatbelt decal you see there to see roughly how large and long these should be so that's what it finally looks like right there and then those are just the seats and I've got to put on small little areas right there those are going to be the buckles and I'm going to paint those silver and you know I did something different I took a risk if you don't think you can do it don't do it but try for me and you'd be amazed at what you can do when you put a little bit of time into a model and the satisfaction you will get of wow this looks really nice now keep in mind it might only be for you because it doesn't know who's going to see the model but we know you did it nicely and you tried so that's that i'm painting those silver with my little toothpick there because they're small little areas and then here i'm just doing light weathering just got some silver on there it's almost like dry brushing putting it on this where paint would be scraped away very subtle I'm sure I could have put some wash on there and make it look maybe almost like chipping but I didn't do that because you, know, you got wear and then you've got chipping but you know you got your pedals right there because feet go there so naturally paint will wear away on those and here's the instrument panel I'm going to make it pop because I got that silver on there and you can see it starting to just as I would say so what do you think I like it now this is a wash I made it's basically an acrylic not acrylic I'm sorry like an enamel wash I didn't even give time for this to uh, cure because I didn't care it turns out great and you see how it looks there it's going on nicely get it all around here and more stuff even the seat belt and the chair I made it look dirty I know sometimes models look like they're in a museum sometimes they look dirty we made this look dirty we're going to put everything in here just like that and you can see how that wash turned out in addition to the black base and the wonderful green color that I mixed it looks fairly decent in my opinion now you see these right here very thick I used a saw to cut through these that is what it took a big metal saw because it removes and doesn't tear so to speak just removes and that's what that looks like right there you can see that final product got that little thing on top all right let's put the other fuselage half on just make sure you get your glue good around the chair in this little area right here that's the first thing we just go slow with this do one part after the other take your time go slow make it look pretty for some model making madness i've said that a lot for this model i know some people aren't fans of this model but you know it worked out really well for me i happy with it had to do seam work but you know what model doesn't that's a Ravel. this one looks good i like it go along the top right there because you can see the seat just work slow clamp it down whatever you got to do there you see that finally holding and this is the underside and this is why I say you kind of work slow that way you let that glue it gives it time to adhere and melt the plastic 
Well, this is it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, comment, and like. And as always, until next time, see ya.